Hey my friends, this is Melanie from Classroom A. I'm back again because I want to read um, a cute story. It's called Hey Duck. And the author and illustrator's name is Karen Bramson. And if you remember, the author writes the words to the story and the illustrator draws the pictures. So this woman, um, she did both. She wrote the words and she drew the pictures. So looking at the front of this picture, what do we think this story is going to be about? It's called Hey Duck. And I see a duck. And I see another animal over here. A cat. So let's find out what kind of adventure this, these two animals are going to have. Hey Duck, why do you walk like that? I slink because I am a cat. Hey, duck. Why is your tail so long? Oh, please don't call me a duck. It's wrong. So what's happening here? What's the problem? There's a baby duck, and he thinks what? You're right. He thinks that the cat is also a duck. Huh. Let's see what happens. Now leave me so that I can... Sup. Hey, duck. Don't get your feathers up. Such pretty feathers, by the way. Such pretty fur, you mean to say. Now look at the cat. Look at his face. Now look at him. And his fur's all fluffy. What's happening to him? He's getting a little aggravated, isn't he? Let's find out what happens next. Hey ducky, let's go play canoe and all the things that duck friends do. We'll dance my favorite dance of all, the puddle stomp. We'll have a ball. So the little duck wants to do duck things with the cat and go in the water. You're right, cats don't like water. That was a very good observation you made. And ducks do like water, yes. So yes, it does look like the cat's trying to run up the tree to hide from the little duck. That was a very good observation. Oh, duck, why go off on your own? We ducks can't stand to be alone. Will you please note that I'm a cat? I want to be alone, so scat, scat. Now he's all the way on the top of the tree and he's telling the duck to what? Scat, go away. Leave him alone. Let's see if the little ducky's going to listen. Oh, what happened? Yes, he's got a sad face. And what did he do? Oh, that wasn't very nice. And what did the cat do back to him? Is that nice to stick your tongue out to your friends? No, it's not. You're right. Who needs that grumpy duck for fun? I'll do the puddle stop for one. So what did the duck do? You're right, he went out on his own to have his own fun in the water. And he's splashing and stomping. I have my own canoe to float. That poor old duck has missed the boat. It's the boat. It's the boat. Zzz. Does it look like the kitty cat cares about the boat? No. He just wants to sleep. Miss the boat? Hey, duck. That's not a duck. That's a truck. Uh-oh, what kind of face does he have? He's got an O face, like, oh, what happened? He might be a little nervous, you're right. Now what is he doing? He's looking for his friend Duck. Hey, Duck, that's not a duck. Just my luck. Duck, cluck, cluck. Not a duck, is it? What is that? It's a chicken.
Hello, my friend. You see, I'm back, and all I have to say is... <clears throat> you found them. Quack! My sense of me has gone amuck. I'm pretty sure I am a duck. I'm not a cat. This much I know. For no real cat would miss you so. Oh, ducky dear, and I missed you. Let's do the puddle stomp for two. So the duck wants to go back into the water, but does it look like the kitty cat wants to go in the water? No, you're right. Doesn't. Uh-oh, can I still be a cat? I did not like that wet kersplat. Well, duck or cat, you're my friend now, which makes me want to shout. Meow. That was a pretty fun story, wasn't it? About a duck and a cat. Very good. And in the end, even though they didn't like to play the same activities, in the end they found a way to still be friends. So even though your friends might want to play something else and you don't want to play that, you don't have to, but you can still be friends and you still can work it out. I hope you enjoyed my story, Hey Duck, and I will be back again another day this week with some more fun activities. Thanks. Have a great day.